So, good day class. So, for today, i-discuss naman natin yung module 3 natin. So, yung continuous probability distribution. So, uh, natapos natin yung 8 uh, discrete probability distribution. So, proceed tayo sa continu uh, continuous probability. So, ano ba yung ating learning objective sa ating module 3? So, to know how to compute probability values for a continuous uniform probability distribution and to be able to compute the expected value and variance for such a distribution. So, yun yung ating learning objective. So, some continu uh, continuous probability distribution is uh, the normal distribution. It is the most uh, important continuous probability dis uh, distribution in the entire field of it graphs called the norm, uh, normal curve is the bell-shaped curve which approximately describe many phenomena that occurs in nature, industry, and research. So, sa continuous uh, probability distribution, so yung uh, normal distribution yung pinaka uh, ginagamit. So, a continuous random variable x having the bell-shaped distribution is called a normal random variable. So, the mathematical equation for the probability distribution of the normal variable depends upon the two parameter, yung ating mean at saka yung ating standard uh, deviation for uh, population uh, the data. So, for a normal curve, ito yung ating uh, normal curve ng normal uh, distribution. Uh, wherein, uh, dito sa gitna, yung ating uh, mean or yung population mean then, mag-change yung ating uh, uh, standard deviation depende sa uh, magiging value ng ating uh, x bar or yung ating data. So, nakalagay dyan, uh, changing uh, mu, shape to the distribution is either left or right. And changing uh, the standard deviation, it's either increase yung ating gap or yung spread or decrease papalapit dun sa ating mean. So, meron tayong normal distribution, uh, mathematical equation. So, ito yun. So, dito na-derive yung uh, formula ng uh, normal distribution. So, f of x is equal to 1 over sigma square root of 2 pi times e raised to negative 1 half times x minus mu over the standard deviation squared. So, yun yung ating mathematical equation. So, this is a bell-shaped curve with the different center and spread depending on uh, the mean and the standard deviation. So, bali, uh, in a mathematical equation, uh, no matter what the values of mean and standard deviation natin, it must be integrated to 1. So, ibig sabihin lagi siyang equal sa 1. So, ito yung mga uh, mathematical equation for uh, uh, mean, yung ating variance, and also yung ating standard deviation. So, ano ba yung beauty ng normal curve? So, no, no matter what uh, the mean and the standard deviation are, the area between uh, uh, mu or mean minus the standard deviation and mu plus standard deviation is about 68%. So, yung area nun ay 68%. Then yung uh, kapag naman 2 sigma, uh, mean minus 2 sigma and uh, mean or mu plus 2 sigma, 95% yung ating area. And kapag uh, uh, mu minus 3 sigma and uh, mu plus 3 sigma, so 99.7% yung ating area. So meaning, habang lumalaki yung ating uh, standard deviation, mas lumalaki yung uh, spread or yung area ng ating data. So, ito yung ating 68, 99.7 rule. So, yun. Ito yung ating, uh, yung gitna ng ito. Ito yung ating mean. Then, ito. So, itong red na area. Ito ay kapag uh, yung standard deviation natin is 1. Which is yung ating area is about 68%. Then, uh, itong sa may green naman. Ibig sabihin, yung red at green, so magkasama. So, 95% ng data kapag ang ating standard deviation ay 2. And uh, itong lahat ng to so yung uh, blue, green, at saka uh, red, uh, kapag naman siya ay 3, uh, 
3 sigma or 3 standard deviation. So, yung area naman natin is 99.7%. So, paglaki ng standard deviation, uh, paglayo sa mean, then paglawak ng area na uh, yung ating spread ng data. So, ito yung uh, math terms ng ating uh, 68.95.99.7 rule wherein dito na-derive kung uh, ano ba yung percentage or uh, area nung kada uh, standard deviation. So, kapag uh, sigma 1, uh, uh, sigma kapag 2 sigma at kapag 3 sigma. So, pwede nyong isolve, uh, malalabas dyan na 0.68 or 68%, uh, 0.95 or 95%, and 0.997 or 99.7%. Pero hindi na tayo mag integrate at mag-differentiate uh, ng N equation. So, parang uh, ang ginawa lang natin is inalam natin kung saan ba galing yung uh, mga percentage ng kada uh, given standard deviation. So, the formula for the standardized normal probability density function, so, ito pa din yun, yung... Uh, uh, doon sa ating mga nadaano na mathematical equation wherein uh, sa standardized normal probability, yung value natin is uh, ganto So, yung j, uh, j is equal to uh, x minus mu over the standard deviation. So, or uh, all normal distribution can be converted in this, uh, into the standard norm normal curve by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. So, yan yung ating uh, standardized normal probability density function. Then for standard normal distribution, ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. So, z is equal to x minus mu over the standard deviation. Ito yung gagamitin natin na uh, formula dun sa ating mga problem. Ito yung pinaka-standard na normal distribution. Wherein dun sa ating mga equation, so ito yun, yung Itong part na to, ito yung ating mismong normal distribution na formula. So, proceed tayo sa example. For example number 1, given a normal distribution with uh, mu is equal to 50 and the standard deviation is equal to 10, so find the probability that x assume a value between 45 and 62. So, ang hinahanap natin dito sa example number 1 natin is the probability na yung x ay between 45 and 62. So, ang gagawin natin, i-apply muna natin yung ating formula ng normal, normal distribution para makuha natin yung c-score or yung value ng z. A is equal to x minus mu over the standard deviation. So, unahin natin si uh, x sub 1 is equal to 45. Isa substitute lang natin. So, 45 na x sub 1 minus 50. So, since yung ating population mean is 50, then, i-divide natin sa 10 na standard deviation. Then, for x sub 2, uh, kung pwede natin makuha yung z to natin, 62 minus yung ating population, population mean na 50 over the standard deviation na 10. Then, lalabas na yung ating z1 is equal to negative 0.5 and z2 is equal to 1.2. So, paano natin madidetermine yung probability that x, uh, that the probability of x assume between the value between uh, 45 and 62. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, dun sa binigay ko na PDF, hahanapin nyo yung uh, value ng negative 0.5 at 1.2. So, dun sa ating normal distribution na table. So, ito yung ating table. Pakita ko yung table. So, meron tayong dalawang table, dalawang page for normal probability or normal distribution. So, uh, yung mga naka-negative na value ng Z at naka-positive na value ng Z. So, since yung ating uh, kanina na Z1 is negative 0.5, so, dun kayo pupunta sa table na negative. So, hanapin nyo lang yung negative 0.5. So, ito yung value. So, kung siya ay negative 0.51, ibig sabihin ito yung uh, value niya. Kung siya naman ay negative 0.55, eh di hanapin nyo yung katapat ng uh, dito sa 0.05. Bali siya ay negative 0.50, kaya ang value natin ay 0.3085. Then ang value na, natin ng 1.2, eto yon or 1.20, 0.8849.
So, yan yung ating value sa table. So, bali, yung probability between 45 and 62 is 0.8849 minus 0.3085. Bakit natin isusubtract? Kasi ang hinahanap natin ay between 45 and 62. Kapag between, lagi ang tinatanong laging subtract yung probability. Then, lalabas na 0.5764. Yun yung ating answer or yung probability between 45 and 62. So, pwede kayong gumamit ng calculator para ma-determine yung probability ng bawat Z. Pwede hindi na tayo gumamit ng table, pero pwede nyo ding i-check dun sa ating table. So, paano yung sa calculator? So, dun sa calculator, so, punta lang ulit kayo sa mode, then na uh, stat, then AC. So, dapat dun sa calculator nyo ay merong stat sa taas, dun sa pinaka-screen, then ship 1. Then, hanapin nyo yung number 5, yung distribution. Number 5. Then, yung 1 na P. Uh, pindutin nyo yung 1. Then, lalabas dyan na P. I-enter nyo lang yung value. Since negative 0.5, ilagay nyo na negative 0.5. Then, equals. Lalabas dyan yung value ng uh, negative 0.5 na uh, 0.3085. Then, uh, for uh, Z2 naman, ilagay nyo naman na uh, 1.2. Then, nalabas dyan na 0.88493. So, yun yung uh, pagkuha ng value dun sa ating calculator. For example number 2, so the mean and standard deviation on an exam are 74 and 12 respectively. So, find the scores in standard unit of student receiving grade uh, 65 and 55. So, gagamitin lang natin yung uh, formula ng ating uh, normal distribution where z is equal to uh, x minus mu over the standard deviation. So, sabi sa ating example, ang mean natin ay 74 and standard deviation natin ay 12. Then, ang value natin ng x sub 1 is 65 and x sub 2 is 75. So, substitute lang natin. So, for x sub 1, 65 minus uh, mu na 74 over 12. Then, ang ating uh, Z score or value ng Z sub 1 is equal to negative 0.75. So, since hindi naman hinahanap yung probability na uh, yung grade ay 65, so, ito na yung ating uh, score or Z score. So, negative 0.75. Then, for letter B, uh, score in standard unit of student receiving grade of 75. So, 75 minus 74 over 12 is equal to 0 0.0833. So, yan yung kanyang Z-score. So, ganun lang yung uh, ex uh, answer for example 2. So, proceed tayo sa number 3. So, referring to the preceding example, find the grade corresponding to the standard score negative 1 and 0.5. So, sa dito naman sa example number 3, ano naman daw yung parang grade or uh, corresponding grade na ang standard score ay negative 1 at 0.5. So, dun sa ating uh, formula, z is equal to x minus mu over standard deviation. So, z sub 1 natin is negative 1. So, ang nawawala natin is x sub 1 and x sub 2. So, x sub 1 minus ang ating mean na 74 over 12. Then, x sub 1 is equal to 62. Ibig sabihin, kailangan ng grade na, na 62 para ang standard score or z score is negative 1. Then, for uh, 0.5 naman na z score is equal to x sub 2 minus 74 over 12. Then, kailangan naman ng grade na 80 para makakuha ng z score na 0.5. So, yun yung answer natin for example number 3, 62 and 80. For example number 4, suppose the temperature T during May is normally distributed with mean 68 degree and standard deviation 6. So, find the probability P that the temperature is between 70 degrees and 80 degrees. So, dito sa example number 4 natin, ang hinahanap natin ay yung probability P that the temperature is between 70 and 80. So, since between 70 and 80, ang kailangan natin ay yung uh, probability ng 80 minus probability ng 70. Pero bago natin makuha yun, kailangan natin akunin yung Z-score. So, yung ating normal distribution na formula, 
z is equal to x minus mu over the standard deviation. So, meron tayong mean na 68, meron tayong standard deviation na 6. Then, ang value natin ng x sub 1 is 70, ang value natin ng x sub 2 is 80. So, yan. So, 70 minus 68 over 6. Then, z sub 1 is 0.33. Then, for uh, z sub 2, yung ating 80 degrees, 80 minus 68 over 6 is equal to uh, 2. So, yun yung ating uh, z sub 1 at z sub 2. So, para ma-check natin sa table, so, check natin, parehas positive yung ating value ng z. So, ito yung ating uh, 0.33. So, yan, 0.6293. At ito naman yung ating value ng 2. 0.9772. So, ang gagawin lang natin, 0.9772 minus 0.6293 is equal to 0.3479 or 34.79% since ang hinahanap natin ay between 70 and 80 degrees. So, yun yung probability niya. So, ganun lang ulit sa calculator para makuha natin yung value ng yung probability niya. So, stat or uh, mode stat, then EC, shape 1, yung distribution, then P, ilalagay nyo lang yung 0.33 equals, nalabas yung 0.6293 at saka 2 then equals lalabas yung 0.9772 para hindi na rin kayo mag uh, gumamit ng table. For example number 5, so an UCLA research scientist reported that mice will live an average of 40 months when their diets are sharply restricted and then enriched with vitamins and protein. Assuming that the lifetime of such mice are normally distributed, with a standard deviation of 6.3 months, so find the probability that a given mouse will live more than 32 months, uh, less than 28 months, and between 37 and 49 months. So, dun muna tayo sa more than 32 months. So, kapag more than 32 months, ibig sabihin z sub 1 is greater than x sub 1 minus mu over the standard deviation. So, ganun pa din kung ano yung value, yun yung ating isa substitute. 32 minus 40, since 40 yung ating mean, over the standard deviation na 6.3, then yung value natin is negative 1.27. So, kapag uh, uh, kinuha natin sa table or sa calculator yung value ng negative 1.27, so, ang lalabas ay 0 0.1020. So, since ang hinahanap natin ay more than, ang gagawin natin ay 1 minus dun sa value ng negative 1.27. So, 1 minus 0.1020 is 0 0.8980. So, ito yung probability that uh, more than 32 months yung uh, magiging uh, live, uh, uh, parang buhay nung uh, mouse. So, kapag uh, more than, ang gagawin lagi ay 1 minus dun sa probability ng uh, nakuhang value ng Z. Then, dun tayo sa less than uh, 28 months. So, kapag naman less than 28 months, Z sub 2 is less than X sub 2 minus mu over the standard deviation. So, 28 minus 40 over 6.3. Then, lalabas na negative 1.9 yung ating value. So, yung probability ng negative 1.9 is 0 0.0287. Ibig sabihin, kapag less than 28 months, so, yun na yung ating uh, probability. So, ang value natin or yung probability natin is 2.87% for less than. So, kung ano yung probability, yun na yung answer. Then, for between 37 and 49, so, ganun din. 37 minus 40 over 6.3, ang value ng Z sub 1 natin is negative 0.48. Then, for Z sub 2, 49 minus 40 over 6.3 is 1.43. Then, it, ang mga value nito sa... Uh, table o kaya sa calculator is 0.9236 para sa 1.3 and 0.3156 para sa negative 0.48. So, subtract lang since between yung ating hinahanap. Ibig sabihin yung uh, probability natin ay 0.608 or 60.8%.